okay so good morning everybody and uh, let me spend uh, 20 minutes or so in discussing with you uh, the end of the course and what happens at the, at the exam so it's that we have more information now that we are uh, approaching uh, uh, the, the dates uh, where we switch from uh, lecture mode to exam mode, okay? Uh, from the point of view of the lectures, uh, we only have uh, uh, two weeks left. This week, uh, where we are going to see a lot of the corner cases uh, of user effects uh, to be aware of. Mm? Uh, the general rule uh, is what we had last week, but today we'll try to complete it and see some pitfalls uh, to avoid. And uh, uh, next week, uh, the 30, uh, 31st, uh, where we are going to see the last bit of information that we need is authentication, how to handle authentication, at least uh, part of the authentication since we don't have all the, all the um, control of the server side. Mm -hmm. And that will be the last topic of the course. And then at the same time, you have two, um, two labs to go. One is uh, this week uh, to see and the other uh, will be at the 9th of June, the, f the end of uh, Big Lab 2, because the, the 2nd of June, which would be a, a Thursday, uh, we all know this is a holiday, so uh, the, um, the lab will skip uh, to the next uh, and last week of the, of the, um, of the semester. Hmm? Uh, as we, we, as we promised up front, uh, you remember the first week of the course, we promised uh, we made more hours of lectures at the beginning. We, uh, we didn't make uh, the labs in the first two weeks, uh, we only made extra lectures, and now we are recovering them, so I keep my promises. The last week uh, will not have any class, okay? Uh, so uh, you, you may start uh, working towards other stuff. And which stuff? Uh, Basically, uh, we can start preparing for the exams. You all know that uh, the exam dates are, have been published here, 20, uh, the 23rd, the 15th of July, and they just published the, the date for September too. That would be at the, at the beginning of September, okay? Let's hope nobody needs that. And um, how does it work? Hmm? How do we organize the exam? We see that uh, there is a date here, and it is marked as an oral test, uh, but uh, how it's working. Uh, basically, we updated the exam rules. Uh, we left out all the bad stuff related with COVID and remote exams and so on, and uh, we updated that yesterday. Uh, the, the exam consists of a web application to be developed uh, in 20 days. So what happens is that uh, uh, 20 days before each exam date, because before each exam call, we are going to publish uh, one text, uh, one assignment uh, of a different uh, project. So that, uh, for example, in the, for the first one, uh, we are going, that will be due on the 23rd, uh, we are going to publish the text on the 3rd of June. Okay? So that's why this week we will, always, will already be free for you to start working on the exam if you want. Hmm? We are not burdening you with extra lectures. Um, and so from the publication of the text uh, until the submission date, uh, you are expected uh, to, to work on your project, okay? Uh, we'll have some uh, days of clarification because everywhere, uh, every time mm, somebody writes a specification or a requirement document, there's always something which is not clear uh, we may have some doubts how, whether something is required or not or so, or, or so. So basically what we are going to publish on the, on the 3rd of June and later on on the 25th of uh, June for the second date uh, will be a, a beta version, a uh, candidate version of the exam, a temporary version. And uh, we, we have some, some days of discussion Probably we'll do that discussion on, on, on a Google Docs so what you can add the questions and say, okay, this is not clear for me, but do we need to do this and so. And uh, uh, so after a few days, uh, we will have the opportunity of clarifying all your uh, doubts and questions uh, so that we can finalize, say, the final version of the text. Hmm? 
so instead of having uh, issues uh, <laughs> at the end when you're submitting uh, at the beginning let's try to, let's try to pull out all the questions uh, that you may have uh, so this will be a process that will last a few days four or five days something like that where you can submit your comments and questions we can uh, respond to those uh, and uh, uh, at the end uh, uh, publish the final version of the of the of the text by the way the final version will be identical for the three courses uh, so we will take into account uh, all, all the observations and questions from all the three courses to finalize that okay uh, so that after the first less than one week uh, okay, you have the, the final version but uh, will be just minor clarifications basically hmm? um, then what happens uh, uh, on the day of the well on the midnight before the date of the uh, of the call you have to submit your project and the submission process will be identical to what you did with the big labs so just just a pushing with a uh, tagging uh, final the the version that you are uh, submitting okay the difference is that uh, the big life projects are, are group projects and here of course we, you will be submitting uh, individual projects but the process is exactly the same and this is why uh, we are training you in a way during the big labs uh, uh, to um, to already use this procedure for, for submission okay so that uh, everything will be ready with our surprises during the exam time uh, okay here is take uh, mm, just, just saying that the project is individual and uh, we will uh, after the submission date uh, we will just uh, uh, take the list of the people who had a successful submission and that means uh, having uh, the correct procedure on github with the push and final tag and uh, being enrolled in the exam of course you still have to enroll in the official uh, 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 exam on the on, on the app or on the portal um, so that we can then later uh, you know register the score um what else uh, well that's all for the first period then it's our job to work uh, we'll have to grade uh, uh, the project that you submitted um, and we'll take uh, some days of course for doing that huh? maybe one week or something like that uh, depends on the number of submissions of course um, and then we will publish at this point uh, the the grades for the project evaluation and the project evaluation is uh, up to 24 points. It's written somewhere down there. Uh, okay. And uh, at that point, uh, we are publishing a score, which is a partial score, and uh, we'll uh, schedule the exam discussions, sorry, the oral discussions, okay? Uh, so when we publish the scores, uh, I will set some dates uh, so that you can, you know, uh, book for for an exam slot. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be probably in Labin for another another room where we can uh, spend some time in during the the exam uh, uh, the the oral checks. Uh, the oral exam is not an interrogation. <laughs> it's not. Uh, uh, I'm, I no, I will not be asking questions about React or anything else. We are going to discuss about your project. The goal of the oral discussion is to check that the project that you submitted is actually yours. Okay, so I will be making questions about your project, nothing more. Okay, you don't have to study any theory or whatever else. Mm -hmm. Just you have to know very well what you submitted. Okay, uh, it means that you did it personally, or maybe you took some code or some help, or you do work uh, with somebody else, which is not forbidden. The project should be individual, they should be all different, but of course you can work together to solve some problems, uh, as long as you know what every, let's say, aspect, every detail of what you submitted. Mm -hmm. And that will account for, let's say, six points, no, not, not let's say, <laughs> six points, exactly. Um, usually, if you, know, you, if you show that your uh, you, you know your project well it will be normally by default usually I tend to give you five points uh, and you, if you are bright <laughs> you show that you are really shining uh, on your code uh, it will be six uh, otherwise maybe four and below four probably it means that uh, I would have some some doubts about uh, the ownership of the code uh, 
So at that in that case, uh, the, the exam could, could fail. So there are two possibilities for failing the exams, two risks, uh, and they're not possibility, we are not aiming at those. Uh, first is if your project is not good enough in the evaluation of the project, you have 24 points, uh, you must get at least 12. Okay, if you get less than 12 points in the project, uh, you, the exam is failed, you, do, you don't go to the discussion. If you get between 12 and 24, we have the discussion, and then you can get the extra four, five, six points. Okay? So we already, you already know more or less the range of the final score. And uh, um, in addition to these points, there will be one or two points from coming from the big labs if you did that. Okay, so the total score will be 32, and uh, if we if you do all, all the steps, okay, the duration of the exam, just to give you an idea, will be 10 to 15 minutes each. Okay, just five minutes to switch. Uh, uh, <laughs> I will load the project in my computer and then try to discussing about your code, uh, 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 how do you implement this functionality, what this function, what is this function doing, uh, what is the warning that your project is uh, uh, spiting out, and so on. Questions like those. Um, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think there are any other points from my point of view. Do you have any question? Did I miss something about the mechanism of the exam? Uh, so, ah, uh, the one detail which is not a nice one: uh, the timing. Uh, you see that uh, the 20-day period for the second uh, date uh, will start on the 25th of June. But uh, <laughs> you just submitted your project on the 22nd at midnight, so there's no chance in the world I could uh, uh, score your project uh, before the 25th. Uh, that's unfortunate, but that's how our calendar goes. Uh, when the second project comes out, uh, you will not have uh, the evaluation of the first one. So either you are confident that you did a good job, and so you f forget about the second date, uh, or you start working on the second project uh, while waiting for the evaluation of the first one, or you wait uh, and uh, for the evaluation of the first one, and so you will have less uh, less days uh, to work on the second. I, I, I don't see any way out of this, okay? So the evaluation of the first project uh, will overlap with the period uh, uh, allowed for developing the second one. Uh, the only alternative would be to give you less than 20 days, but I would hate that because you also have other exams to, to prepare. So I, I don't expect, we don't expect you to work 20 full days on the project, okay? If you check with your friends from last year, they will tell you that you don't need really 20 days. Um, but of course, you have to schedule other stuff. So uh, I, unless we can bend the time, I don't see any, any solution for this. So just, uh, we will try to publish the results uh, as quickly as possible, but it takes time, okay? We need to open each project and check the server side, the client side, the functionalities, and it will take uh, hours of work, okay? And hours means days. Uh, once you have the score, then at that point you are, or score the, the project, you are already know the final score you get because the score of the project plus the big labs uh, plus make five points plus or minus one, that will be your final score. So you can, at that point, you can decide whether you're going to take this score or to work for the second. Mm -hmm. But there will be some days overlap for sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, there's one note here somewhere that says that uh, um, once you uh, so, um, how to let's say withdraw from the project? You can withdraw at any time before the oral test. So you can enroll in the exam, uh, enroll in the classroom, and then you can not submit. No problem. You can submit uh, the project, see the score, and then decide not to come to the oral check. 
no problem. We will just uh, uh, so the exam will be will be failed basically, but you can uh, you can try it a second time. Hmm? Uh, so after even after you see the score, Where, if you sit in the oral discussion, then you are accepting the score. Okay, so there will be no refusing the score after the oral because you already know the final point, so there will be no uh, no place in that. Okay, so but any time before that, uh, you are free to to start working and then decide where to submit uh, and after you submit you can check the scores of the project and decide where to come to the discussion or not. Okay. Okay, so that's it from my side. If there are no questions, we can close the issue. If you have any questions, we can discuss them on Slack, of course. Oh, basic, uh, by the way, uh, we, I, I will open a Slack channel for, for each uh, uh, exam so we can have more focused uh, discussions there. I will publish the results on that Slack channel. So the people that enroll in the exam, please also join the channel where I will give you all the notice, all the deadlines, uh, all the clarifications, uh, and so on after the publication of the final test. Okay? So that's it. So let's come back to React. Let just me cut the video so that they don't stop. 